Hi everyone, uh, in today's math tutorial we'll be having a look at adding or subtracting fractions that involve quadratic expressions or groups of binomials and I've found that in many of the teachings and many of my teachings that I've done that students tend to go a little bit off the road when you get these type of scenarios to do. So I hope this video will help uh, you better understand what to do when you get a calculation like so. First of all, please remember to subscribe to my channel and also like this video as this will help me get the content out to more people or students that might need this help. Let's start by first explaining the basic concept of adding two fractions together that has a different denominator. 1 over 3 plus 2 over 5. We would generally, the easiest way to do this, is to multiply our two denominators together. This will give me 15. Our next step will then be to cross multiply numerator with denominator as well as numerator or denominator with numerator. So then we'll get 1 times 5, which will give me 5, and we will get 3 times 2, which will give me 6. My next step will then be, since it's now over the common denominator of 15, to add the two numerators together, which will give me 11 over 15. But this rule is very basic and there's no factors of these numbers. But what if we are working with variables and it's not just as easy as this, it actually involves quadratic expressions where we have to find the factor of the quadratic uh, in order to simplify the addition or subtracting of the two fractions to its simplest form. Let's have a look at two examples and these two examples might benefit you in order to understand the process a little bit better when using or working with factors. Our first example will be minus 8 over a squared plus 2a minus 15 plus 1 over a minus 3. Here we must see two things. First of all, we have this trinomial here, and it looks like it is a quadratic. So we are going to try and factorize this into two binomials. We can also see that this might be possible because we have a minus three. A minus three might also be a binomial, a binomial that might be present in this quadratic here when factorized. Let's see if this is true. So our first step will then be to factorize the quadratic. By using our rules, we will get a and a. Factors of 15, 1, 3, 5, 15. Remember, the two factors I'll be using, the product of the two, must equal the sum of the middle term. In this case, I have to get to 2a, positive 2a. So, in this case, I'm going to use 1 and 15. No, it's not going to work. 3 and 5. Yes, 3 and 5 can work because if I have 3 and I have 5 and I say, okay, if I have negative 3 and I add 5 to it, I'm going to get to positive 2, which will be positive 2a. And then, of course, I'm just going to write down my second term again. 1 over a minus 3. And look at that. a minus 3 and a minus 3 so both are present in both terms. My next step will now be not to multiply the two denominators together and then cross multiple. Why? Because if we look closely and we know our rules in terms of the factors of these type of groups, these binomials, we know that if this term here is present in this term here, we're not going to add it once again. This is, in fact, the simplest form. This is already the lowest common denominator of both these terms. So, in this case, I'm going to do the following. Since this is already the lowest common denominator, I'm going to keep minus 8 as minus 8. 
since a minus 3 is present here and there, I'm only going to multiply 1 with a plus 5. Plus 1 times a plus 5 over my common denominator, a minus 3, a plus 5. Now, I'm not done yet. I cannot now go and say, okay, well, a plus 5 and a plus 5 is present in both, so I'm just going to cancel these two out. No, I first need to find the products of this new numerator. So, in order to add up the like terms, minus 8 plus 1 times a gives me plus a plus 1 times 5 gives me 5 over a minus 3 a plus 5. I now go ahead and add my like terms. A minus 8 plus 5 will give me minus 3 over a minus 3 a plus 5. Look at that. A minus 3 and a minus 3 is present both in the numerator and the denominator. What should we do then? We can cancel them out because they are the same, they equal to 1. So what is my final answer? 1 left in the numerator over a plus 5, which is left in my denominator. And there we have our answer. Let's have a look at the second example. 12q over q squared plus 6q minus 16 minus 5 over q minus 2. Again, I should note that q minus 2 might be present when I factorize this trinomial, this quadratic, into its binomials. So let's give that a try first. I'm going to say 12q. Let's see if this factorizes. q and q. 16. What's the factors? 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Okay, so 1 and 16 won't work. 2 and 4. Yes, that might work. That would equal 6. 8 and 2. Yes, it will equal 6, but it will also equal 16. Because remember, it is the two factors that we multiply together will be the sum. If we add them together, will yield our middle term. So it most likely will be 8 and 2. And we need to get to positive 6. So positive 8 minus 2. Yes, that works. Minus 5 over Q minus 2. Now I see I'm going to follow this rule again. We're going to say, okay, well, this is already the lowest common denominator. 12q will stay as is. And since q minus 2 is present in both terms, I'm only going to multiply my 5 with q plus 8 over q plus 8, q minus 2. Now we need to find the products of the numerator. 12q minus 5q minus 40 over q plus 8 q minus 2. Right, so this isn't a quadratic and I still need to add up my like terms. So let's do that. 12q minus 5q gives me 7q minus 40 over q plus 8 q minus 2. Now, it's important to remember that we can go and factorize the numerator once again to see if there isn't any common terms within the numerator and denominator in order to cancel them out by dividing them and getting to 1. But we must remember that in such a case, the operators must be the same. Let's see if this works out. So, let's test this. I can take out, take out 7. That will give me Q minus 8. I see no, q minus 8 is not the same as q plus 8. So, in fact, this is our final answer because this is already then in its simplest form. So, let's just quickly recap our steps. First step is to see if we can factorize the trinomial. Yes, we can. So, we've factorized our trinomial in our first step. There we go. The next step is to 
find the lowest common denominator. Since q minus 2 in the second term is already present in my first term, I'm not going to add it again by multiplying both denominators together. It is already present because I see that q plus 8 and q minus 2 is my lowest common denominator. So 12q would stay the same, but I would multiply my 5 in the second term, the numerator, with only that which is missing from this here. And that would be the q plus 8. Now I need to simplify. And I'm going to simplify by first finding the products of the numerator once again. In order to add up the like terms. So I do that by multiplying and I get to 12q minus 5q minus 40. Now I'm going to add up my like terms and I'm going to get to 7q minus 40. I'm now going to use this step to see if I cannot further factorize in order to see if there is any similarities or same groupings, same binomials present in both numerator and denominator in order to simplify the fraction further. I see that I don't get the same operators. Q and 8, yes, it's present, but one's positive and one negative. So I cannot cancel out those two binomials. And this, my final answer is 7Q minus 40 over Q plus 8 and Q minus 2. I do hope you found this uh, video helpful and that it will help you in scenarios such as these. Thank you so much for watching.